Hey look, where's the oil? Uh, I'll probably grease it while it's in here, but you know how that's gonna go. Why would we show that to Luke on the camera? Fuck sake. Well, welcome to the Rick Bork channel, where the beer's always cold, language fucking sucks, my shit's always broken, and your opinion doesn't matter. Borkfest 2022 is July 29th and 30th, so come on over and have a beer and have a good time, and you can regret yourself later. Ah. You wanna go plow some snow? I didn't think so. Too fucking bad.
That'll probably work a little bit better for him. I don't want to get too fucking close in there because these fucking posts are going to break off. I think only they're all tied together and only one of them's actually not broken off the ground. And that's either ours or the one neighbor's. I don't remember which, but I got a steel post to put in there. I just didn't get a chance last year. Katie wanted it done before Bark Fest. Well, I got the fucking gates up. I just didn't have uh, time to I just didn't have time to put the fucking mailbox up. Worst problems to have, I suppose. Definitely gonna have to do a lot of cleanup on this, but it's not, Katie doesn't work in the morning. And if I can't get out, then fuck it. But we'll be winging it off, and widening it out, and all that other happy shit after it. Snow is supposed to intensify significantly after uh, 7 p.m. and then by like 5 a.m. we're really supposed to be fucking in it, so. Well, I don't know. Pretty good drifting along here. It's on. Okay. Mm. 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 Beer's good tonight. New policy is take one, crush one. Well, fucking drink one, crush one. Whatever. We got a little bit ahead on the fucking drinking versus the crushing, but we're caught up now. So, um, the old fucking kill boat is back in the shop. Did a good job, kicked ass, took names. Cleaned up what we needed to, and I'm not going to do too much fucking uh, snow plowing videos for you because, well, it gets kind of dumb. I mean, even for me, I'm fucking over it at this point. If I could get out and do some cool shit, like with drone or something like that. But where we get a lot of fucking snow, we can get the fucking bee plow out on the skitter. Any, anyway. Holy shit, your battery's going dead. Ha! Ah, you're charging. Are you charging? Maybe you're not charging. I have no fucking idea. Are you charging? I, I don't know if you're charging or not, but fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> the, your booster fucking thing is on. The thing's getting confusing to me. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm probably overthinking it. Whatever. I need a beer. Um. So, me can move. I, uh, ooh, my last tall boy. I guess it's Tuesday. We may as well fucking prime the pump for Wednesday night. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. The wood stove's loaded and all the chores are done. The snow's plowed. Let's drink some beer. <laughs> I 
Not that I didn't earlier. I fucking drank some beer earlier. So. Um, I went to the, the fucking nap after work because I like to deal with them folk personally versus going through the business or because then fucking they're fucking snooping on my fucking shit, whatever. Like the idiots need to know what I'm buying. So went and got some uh, fuel lines so we can fix the skitter. If you recall in a previous video. That fucker went down on me, so we ain't fucking around with trying to splice it. We're running a whole fucking new line, and then we're going to have a fucking good good chunk hanging on the wall when we're done. So, that way, if we need it, we got it. Um, we only had one of these fuckers in stock, because it was actually at my price. I was probably going to buy a couple of them, but... Nah, I, sh I shouldn't. Why are you fucking being obnoxious? I bought one of these, because... I fucking... I don't know why. So we're going to go over here and add this to the collection because, you know, and then we uh, stop at the fucking hardware store and get more, uh, <sighs> we really got to get some more fucking, we should really stock up on oil and antifreeze around here, huh? Really need to, and then, uh, remember I couldn't find the 3122 and the 3511, well, a couple more of them fuckers. They, they only stock one thirty-two or thirty-one twenty-two, and that's okay because well, I figured out where the other ones are. They're down in the pole barn yet because I forgot to bring the fuckers up here. So, um, thirty-five eleven and thirty-one twenty-two. Um, the Napa. That can go down there. We should fucking work on that shelf tonight, but damn it. No oh, work on the shelf. Um get that shit off the ground. <sighs> Not tonight. Need to get some stuff from the hardware store. I should see what he gets for a couple of fucking I either got three quarter inch OSB up in the fucking pole barn or I can stop at the hardware store and see what he gets for some one by eights. The prices are come down and they're not fucking ridiculous. Or two by two by eights would probably be better for that much fucking like I don't know. I'm gonna brainstorm on it, otherwise I can go dig some out of the fucking snow too. I think I have some up there. Well I know I have some, but son of a bitch they're gonna be buried. Um anyway, I digress. I need beer. I'm kind of chatty tonight. What else did you buy, Ricky Dicky? Well, um, they got these fucking minty bags, too. Heavy duty sons of bitches. I don't know if that, I don't think those are standard Napa bags. I think they're just good folk and they don't buy into the cheap corporate shit. Paint pen. Why? I don't know. Local sandstone Napa centers. Just fucking good. Is it Napa Center? Just Napa Auto Parts, whatever. And then uh, they talked me into buying a case of CRC brake clean. They say it's better now. I don't fucking know, but it was way fucking cheaper than the Mac stuff, which I've been liking so much, but it was like $1.50 a can fucking cheaper. And I was like, Ah, well, sign me up, because it looks like I only got about two cans of the shit left, so, um, I've been going through it, cleaning things up and whatnot. If you recall in the last, last video, oh, call it the last video, we had a little plastic welding, and we buttoned up that drill press, that fucker's ready to be installed. We just need to, uh, put it over there. So, and then, uh, and another grid, yeah. Video short, we talked about all those fucking milling bits over there. So I need to get those cleaned up, need to get those organized and uh, put away. So what I need to do is I got an organizer down in the fucking Yukon that I should go fucking dig out, which is going to be go fun going through all that shit. Put that on the wall and then put all the stuff in those little compartments. So that means I need to get that set up. I need to get the oil set up. And then we should get back to working on the fucking van saw. So I'm not exactly entirely 100% sure what the fuck I'm actually going to do. So I'm going to drink a beer and think about it, and I'll bring you back.
but it's only 10 o'clock, so we're going to get something done yet tonight because I ain't fucking quitting now. Well, I think I need another beer. Good nightcap beer. Chef for a nightcap beer. I'll do one of these. They're not that great, so it's like a good sipper and shit because I, I don't know. Chatting there with uh, Ryan over at Straight Pipe Acres, and probably he's probably buying shit that he probably shouldn't be. But if y'all aren't familiar with Straight Pipe Acres up there in Saskatchewan, check them out. Mm. I don't know. I'm a little indifferent to it. It's like fucking sometimes it's like coffee, sometimes it's like maple, sometimes it's like beer. I guess it depends on how fucking half pissed I am, how cold it is, and how bad I want to drink it. Hmm. I don't know. That's uh, Sugar Shack ma Maple Stout, by the way. There's definitely a maple flavor to it, but I think it has too much coffee. It's like a maple coffee. Fuck, that hurt. Um, so... I was out uh, bucking up some logs for firewood earlier and fucking blew the chain off the fucking chainsaw. So I need to throw it some bitch back on there. I, I don't know if it was because the log pinched it, but it fucking zing came the fuck out there. So. <laughs> and now because I'm filming it, Luke's trash can be like, it's because it's a fucking excavator. Oh my god. I still would never throw the fucking chain off. Fuck seek. So I got that fucker a little tight, huh? Who did that? Next thing I'll be critiquing whether I had the fucking chain tight or not. Yes, Luke, I had the chain tight. Question will be, did we twist the chain when the bastard came off? Because once in a while you get in one of the links. And then that old bitch doesn't work very good anymore. So if that's the case, we do have a new uh, chain to throw on, the old bitch, but. I don't want to do that if I don't have to. You know, I'll have to look and... There was a couple of bare spots on the driveway when I was dragging firewood up here, because, well, probably pretty soon I'm going to have to quit that shit. So, see how one of them isn't going to fall in line? Right? Yeah, they're all a little fuckered right there. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Looks like we're putting a new drive chain on it. Let's see if I get you in here close and show you what the fuck's going on. Um, can you see that very well? Yeah, you can see where the end, right there. <clears throat> My finger out of there. Right there is fuckered. And right there, and that one's really fuckered. So, they should look like that, and they look like, well, that. Busted that one, so. We, uh, you sit over here. Nico, would you fucking lay down? I know the floor is too hot for you. Go fucking outside then. I don't know what to tell you. You're not getting an air-conditioned bed in a heated shop while it's fucking ten, 10 below outside. I don't know what the fuck you want in here. Shit. Go sleep over by the fucking garage door where there's a draft. You used to have the brains to do that. No, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. So we gotta get this out here make sure we didn't fuck her or our dry sprocket. And I don't... I didn't see anything on that log even when I rolled it over after I fucking... It did cut it, but it fucking threw the chain after it cut it. So, I'm assuming when the 
log went like that. I had the lo loader underneath it because it was a pretty good size oak log. Um, must have thrown it off there. Too dirty. Too dirty, dirty, dirty. So, it's the price you pay for fucking... When you're well, I could probably, I could probably fix this chain. No, I can't. It completely wrecked fucking four or five of those drive teeth. Now I got it out. Holy shit! That was my sprocket. Okay, come here. Come here. You're gonna like this shit. Luke's gonna like this shit. Um, the drive sprocket in there actually doesn't look too bad. There's a little wear on it. There's a little wear on all of them because you're fucking you're driving the teeth. So I have to assume something got in here because. To take that tooth and fucking just annihilate it like that. I must have picked up something in that fucking... In that chain and rock, debris, steel, fuck, I don't know. Whatever got in there, got in there. Um, and then uh, make sure this feels okay. And it does. Make sure you don't have much of a... You don't want to be able to feel a ridge on that, otherwise it's time to flip your bar. Nothing there. Shouldn't be building too much of a ridge on there if you're running a tight, or a fucking properly tensioned chain that's properly sharpened. So I, it was either when I pinched that bastard or something, got in between the chain and the fucking sprocket and wrecked that bitch, so. Unfortunately, we didn't get too many uh, sharpenings out of that fucker. I only touched up the teeth about twice, something like that, but ain't much you can do with that fucker. It's junk. Ah, so now we go wall shopping. We're going to go wall shopping. I have another skip tooth chain. Um, then I need this little bitch in the morning to... Cut me some firewood. I know I have one around here. It's in the fucking box. Yet. So I gotta clean all this shit up yet. Put everything away. You know, a perfect workshop in a perfect world would be fucking perfect, wouldn't it? Uh, Except I keep bringing more shit in here. Um. Where the fuck is that chain? I have another one as a backup, but, uh, all right, I got, I got to figure, figure, fuck out, white box, it's behind, nope, it's not behind the JB weld, it's up, oh, 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 here it is, there she is, okay, I'll get this fucker out of the box and I'll bring it back. Okay, so before we bust out the new chain, which is a, um, where's your part number? 72EXJ072. Oregon Power Cut Skip Tooth Chain. Huh? Huh? All right, we're gonna go, we need to fucking clean this up before we're gonna throw a new chain in it. So we're gonna take this old fucking, the old fucking power head outside and give her give her the zing zang and clean her up so well uh set this down put that over there and holy shit oh fucking snow drifted in there shocker here you uh you sitting here where you're warm otherwise your battery goes dead how's how's oh look at you fit right there We don't want you to miss anything, you know.
before. Okay, so you don't need to know, don't need to have that on there anyway, because just based on the raw fucking power, everybody knows she's a husky bear. Let me just say, you want to make sure your uh, oil holes are clear on your fucking bar. And this one, not so much, with a little shot of air in there. Clear that bitch out, that's what that is. That's what that is, make sure they're, make sure those are cleared out. Again. So when I stir, is the bar right side up or upside down? Lettering. I, it doesn't matter. There's no significant wear on either side of the bar. So you can see our uh, oil hole is nice and clean. Otherwise you won't have any lub lubricant. You're gonna grab a rag from Mr. Michael Bragg. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, and we'll get this shit out of here you can go it can fuck off onto the floor because the floor is going to be swept anyway we need to get the equipment out of here so we can sweep the floor but i guess we're going to sweep around it for now because that shit's not going anywhere anytime soon um bar on chain open I have to order a new chain again. Y'all like getting fucking tangled up with that chain? Have y'all, y'all, y'all fucking, y'all know that person that can't fucking untie a shoe to save their life. I like watching people get tangled up with a chain on a chain. It's it's funny. So that seems like it's all right, huh? Side cover. Come on, Rick. Just line up the fucking hole, would you? Shit. Hit around the tensioner back a little bit, or run, slide the bar back a little bit to line up the hole. <sighs> now I just want to put these on here enough to, uh, my fat finger doesn't fit in there for uh, clearance, by the way. That was not so bad, but we'll have clearance on this one for my fat finger.
snug that up. Um, so what I like to do is go ahead, don't set the fucking breaker. I like to push the power head forward and tilt that bar up. You can set the brake, fuck it, whatever. And that way you're, because uh, when you push down, otherwise at the bar, comes up, you see how that slacks? So you want to get rid of that slack in there. Mm. Most of the time, you're cutting, pushing down anyway, versus picking up. Now when you take the brake off, make sure our chain feels okay. Might have been a little bit of grit and debris in there, but it should run just like that. No problem, and it should be nice and taut, but not overly tight. You should still be able to, without pulling real hard, you should be able to see the, the drive teeth in the chain. Uh, my opinion, that's how I do things. That's not how you do things. You want to tighten the bastard up, you want to let it run really loose, you want to let her sag a little bit. I don't give a fuck. Do not care. And don't tell me in the comments below how to adjust my chain. Because I'm still going to do it my way. I already fucking did and you're not going to see this for fucking 7 to 10 days. So there you go. Fuck sake. Chances are by the time you see this, I've already wrecked the fucking chain. <laughs> Kidding, I don't want to wreck another chain. But that's the last one of those skip tooth chains that I have because I only bought two, so I'm gonna have to go online and fucking order a couple more because I like them bitches. Where were they all my life? So, we'll uh, save that number right there. <whistles> Get me a few more of them motherfuckers. Motherfuckers up in here. Okay. Um. So drill press is done, chainsaw is fixed. I, uh, off camera, because I don't know why I did it, but, you, but I, 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 I did it to you. I, I wasn't very nice to you earlier, so I'm just letting you know. What are we at here on battery? All right, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. I, uh, put this one shelf up because I had that board laying around, so threw a couple of brackets on the wall. Not really impressed with those brackets, but whatever. Cool. Uh, and uh, we got oil up there ready to go and a lot more to put away but I haven't figured out my shelf system that's going over here yet because there is a window going in there believe it or not that will actually happen so I haven't figured out where we're going to put the rest of the fucking oil but we'll figure that out when we get there um I'm still uh, stewing on putting a whole bunch of it right here and then moving the standard oils down here and putting specialty oils down there. Um, I have to go through and see what I have for materials to make that happen, though. So, in a snowstorm, shut up. That's not going to happen tonight. So, um. Plowed the snow, did the chores, fed the cows, watered the cows. I did all those things, put the tractor back in, back away, took the plow off. It's just got pallet forks on it now. Uh, a little update on the old fucking, the old Armstrongs, high traction lug. They're showing their age a little bit, but they ain't peeling and they ain't leaking, so the hell with it, we're fucking running them. If I can get one more year out of them for 60 bucks... I'm a happy motherfucker, I'm telling you right now. And uh, these new ones, these brand new ones that I put on the front of this bitch, I'll never buy them again. I can tell you what, the, the mile markers, is that what they are? <sighs> Midas. I think I looked at mile marker. Midas. Look at how bad those bitches are sloping off already. Fuck me running. They should look like that back here. Granted, there's some highway miles on it. I put some motherfucking highway miles on that thing. But these fucking Armstrongs are wearing way less than them son of bitches. 
So, hopefully next year I'm going to try to, as far as crops go, I'm going to try to keep things a little bit more local. Like, uh, as far as chopping and all that stuff goes, try to keep the miles down on the tractor, do a little bit more hauling now that we have a trailer to haul a little bit easier and get a bunch of shit fixed up. So, there you go. Hopefully we can get the skid steer into the mix and we got other machines now to cut down on the hours on the Kubota. Like this one. This one will help out. If the hydraulics will do it. I fucking... It'll make... I'll make it a raking tractor. It'll be pretty fucking minty as a raking tractor, I think. So there you go. There's my Nightcat beer. I am going to get the hell out of here. If you guys like what I'm doing, throw me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell, get my notifications. Memberships are down there if you want one, and I do appreciate it because it helps me do, well, my shit's always broken, but slowly but surely we're fixing it up, and I appreciate you all for your help. So, um, again, drill press is done so we can work on the fucking bandsaw, but we had to set up the bench lathe, which isn't quite set up yet, but I think we'll do that in another video. Maybe I'll shoot another one yet tonight. I have no fucking idea. I... <sighs> do I want another beer? That's the question. Want and or need.